All right, let's play this here. A couple of presentation thoughts that I have here. There's no sound. I'm going to play this again, but there's a longer, slower walk there. And you chose to do a walk cycle, kind of a generic walk cycle, and do the second one using the same poses, but trying to achieve a heavier feel by just adjusting uh, timing, spacing, overlap, but without doing massive changes in the poses. All right. Let's go back here. First of all, um, I would change the camera so that we are not losing the character so much at the bottom and then the top for the other character. I was just kind of reframe things. And I mean, you could also show a, you know, a front view and then a side view um, just to make it clear to kind of look at things. And you can always do, you know, front side and then uh, three quarter if you want. But I mean, it is also going from A to B, not, in, not a treadmill, but just, just that as a general thing for presentation. Apart from that, I would love to see a bit more on the hips, because what I'm feeling right now is that the top part feels a bit stiff. I don't think I'm seeing a lot of hip involvement as like on the passing pose. All the weight is on this leg, so the hip will go down. Don't forget Y rotation on the hip as well. Can probably move the chest in wide just a bit more it just feels a bit timid on the upper section and i feel like you can on the passing i feel like there's a the, the legs just feel mostly bent and i think we can just go a bit more on a straight on that on that plant so it's not always like this and there's a bit of early movement here and lifting on the toes on that peel but I don't see any, you know, crazy pops or bumps. At least that, that feels pretty solid. I would still, on something like this, I would love to see like a straight, um, you know, front and side. This means nothing. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> this is the head and these are, these are my legs. This is, these are my, my drawing skills. Yeah, it just seems like there's, it just seems a bit timid. It's overall up apart and even how the legs, how the legs are always bent. I would also reduce the the drag on the wrists. They're a bit flappy, especially on the way back. I would be careful dragging your your uh, rip, um, your hips, your wrists that much. And then if you go on to the, this section, this just feels more like the same animation, um, just, you know, you have your keys and then you just kind of scale them out. Where it feels like if you want to, you know, is it, is the character just, I mean, you're mentioning here, heavier feel, but I would still probably go into, boom, like a bigger in, impact on the chest and on the head. I would probably not super extend those arms and keep those a bit more on the bent overall, like overall somewhat bent. And still the same idea of extending those legs a bit more on that step. You also have to think about in terms of, well, if I do this, is this kind of the scale reference, meaning that this is the character and this is a giant next to it? Or are they the same size? You know what I mean? You also have to look at that. Like if this is a giant, it could be boom, and a much more impact and potentially just overall more of a uh, curved uh, line of action in the upper body. Is have, you know, it's almost like we have more questions than critique. Also watch out, you're going to have to have some smoothing out, like as the knee comes up, it kind of pops into a stop. And the same thing here, as this comes down, that stop and going forward, there's some smoothing out there that you could add. But seeing this up close now, I really don't see much involvement in the hips. So to me, it seems like a bigger extension on the long, extending your gait, basically. You want your legs not to be always so bent. On a step like this, I'll go a bit further. Involvement in this, a bit loosening up of the upper area here. Same thing on this. It feels like you can just... I would go just a bit broader in your generic, generic walk with your overlap and your drag and your swings. And then you can always scale it down a bit later. This just seems a bit, a bit stiff, if that makes sense. But I do want to ask you in terms of, you know, is this one character, the other character just as a giant... And this is the scale relationship, or is that the same thing? And you, I don't know. I don't know what, like what your presentation idea is 
what your thoughts are on that. If you, if you want to do that, maybe you want to have both at the same time. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of my question there. So let me know in the email. Maybe you know as we discuss this, your update can reflect that. And you can always submit it like this, but then still have a front and side just for more uh, proper look at it. All right, I'll leave it at that. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.